Hey everybody, welcome to another video, or rather creative tutorial. I know it's been a while, but past month has been a little crazy, so I haven't really had time to sit down and properly make a tutorial video. But today I'm going to be going over two simple features of Krita. Nothing like super crazy, but if you didn't know they existed, because they don't really show up right away when you first install or make a new document or open Krita. Um, this might actually be really helpful to you. So the first one is the undo history. So just go to Docker's under settings, oops, and go all the way down to undo history. And it's kind of basically what it says it is. It's a history of all the actions you've done in your document. So everything I do here is saved, and I can go back and say, well, I don't like these two strokes I did. Let me just go back. And this is kind of nice because you don't have to keep hitting Control Z. Whoops. On your keyboard. Oh man, Let me fix this. My bad. So you don't have to keep uh, hitting Control Z on your keyboard. So it's just nice. It's good for your workflow, especially if you don't like your hand on the keyboard 24/7. And you can also change the settings. So you can enable cumulative undo. So basically, if I want this to save every five seconds, or you want us to save every five seconds or every five strokes, I can do that and then it'll group it into one. So one, two, so right now it's doing that and it should group it in a second. I think that's a minute, so it won't group it until after a minute. I'm not going to wait a minute, but those settings are there in case you need them. Alright, so I'm just going to close this for now. And the next stack we're going to be going over is really simple as well. I can find it here. Is it open already? Oh, I do have it open already. Okay, sorry. It's a settings docker overview. So overview is kind of like the navigator. Uh, another program. So again, if you don't want it docked, you can. Ugh, I've never been used to that. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let me just fix this really quick. There. It's very sensitive. All right. So basically, it gives you an overview of your document. So if you want to zoom out, you can automatically zoom out instead of going to the uh, option here in the bottom right corner, and then you can navigate on your canvas just by clicking. Then you can reset by clicking this and zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. It's great. And that's pretty much it for this video. Really short, but it's useful. You know, it's good stuff to know. If you guys have any questions about any of these dockers or features, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll do my best to get back to you with an answer or maybe another video. I definitely don't mind doing that either, especially if it's a complicated question or workflow. Alright, so links are in the description to support me and to download Krita, and I will see you guys in the next one.